Meet Valerie, our favourite running track enthusiast. She loves exercising and is getting ready for her morning jog right now. You can see she's busy doing some ankle warm-up exercises which involve rolling her feet outwards like this. Today, we're going to explore a small muscle of the leg which is helping her to do this. But let's just say, if this particular muscle got its way all the time, we'd end up standing like this, which wouldn't be very useful for running, would it? In fact, I imagine it would probably cause quite a bit of pain. What muscle am I talking about? Let's excuse Valerie for her jog and I'll tell you. That's right. It's time to discuss the functions of the fibularis brevis muscle. Before we begin our tutorial, let's first take a moment to discuss the name fibularis brevis, as some of you may know it by its other name, the perineus brevis. Yes, confusing as it sounds, there are two names for this muscle. Fibularis comes from the Latin word fibula, while perineus originates from the Greek word perine. Both terms have the same meaning though and refer to pin or prong, quite appropriate for the long slender bone that's the fibula. While both fibularis brevis and perineus brevis are perfectly acceptable, we use the former as it is the more commonly used of the two. I'm sure you know by now that when studying anatomy, form and function go hand in hand. You can't discuss one properly without exploring the other also. So, with that in mind, we're going to begin our study by looking at the form, or anatomy, of the fibularis brevis muscle. The fibularis brevis is located in the lateral compartment of the leg where it resides with just one other muscle, its bigger brother, the fibularis longus. And true to its name, the fibularis brevis happens to be the shorter member of this lateral partnership. These two muscles are also known as the everters of the foot, and we'll explore exactly what that means in just a few moments. Let's begin by talking about its proximal attachment or origin. The origin of the fibularis brevis is located along the distal half of the fibula, deep to the fibularis longus. From here, it presents a fusiform or spindle-shaped muscle belly, which terminates just before the lateral malleolus of the fibula. Here it tapers off into a somewhat flat, broad tendon, which wraps around the lateral malleolus anterior to the tendon of the fibularis longus. It then continues over the lateral aspect of the calcaneus and cuboid tarsal bones, running superior to the tendon of the fibularis longus. It finally reaches its distal attachment, or insertion, near the tuberosity of the base of the fifth metatarsal bone. Now that we're aware of the anatomy of the fibularis brevis, we can now figure out what joints this muscle acts upon. Identifying these is a key step in understanding the function of any muscle. Our first joint of interest is, of course, the ankle joint, which is known as the talocrural joint. We know that this joint is formed by the articulation of the distal end of the tibia and fibula with the superior surface of the talus bone. Just inferior to that is our second joint of interest, the subtalar joint. This is also known as the talocalcaneal joint, which, true to its name, involves the articulation between the talus and calcaneus bones. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.